maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Welcome back on the Good Morning Our Teacher Radio Show. And it's chamber chat time. Good morning. And, uh, good morning, Coxie. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. So what is that that you drink? What is that? Mm. Um, it's energy. I, I'm, not a, <laughs> I'm not a coffee drinker. Okay. And I found this. Uh, I usually will drink tea. Mm-hmm. And um, I have today. Yes. Well, I found this to be, this is more of, it's like a green tea energy drink. It's called, doesn't look green, though. It's called Celsius. Okay. And what's the oh, it's ball thing in the... Just a shaker to shake it up oh, so okay. that you can... It doesn't settle on the bottom. Okay. I have tea. Because it's a powder that you put into your water. I have tea. What do you have today, Jean? Steeped in family values. Hmm. Bigelow tea. <laughs> Steeped in family values. <laughs> Interesting. That's cute. What flavor? What, like, Earl Grey. Oh, yeah. Because that's what Picard drank. I'm more of a... English breakfast. Okay. Black tea. Okay. The more caffeine, the better. I have Dunkin' Donuts Original with Italian sweet cream coffee mate. Brewed at home <laughs> in family values. <laughs> Brewed at home in family values. <laughs> <laughs> nice and hot. Uh, we all have our caffeine is basically what we're all that's, saying. That's right. That's <laughs> Hers right. really works, though. I use that in the afternoon when it's, like, time for my siesta, but I'm not in Mexico. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm immune to coffee, but that stuff. It'll, it'll wake you up. It'll wake you up. I got some on Amazon. I brought it today for the nice. first time. Pretty excited. Well, Lana mentioned this to me earlier. You said this. There's an odd thing with the numbers today. Tuesday. Oh, yeah. T-W-O Tuesday. Okay. So this will never happen again. Ever? No. Not even in, well, 2,222 maybe. Yeah. But Ooh. it may not land on a Tuesday. And the world may be kapooey by then. <laughs> yeah. So today is 2-22-2022. 2 2022 The second on day a of Tuesday. the week. Okay. Well, I guess it, that, that can be argued. But really, it's a Tuesday. On Tuesday, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of schools participating in tutus and ties. Okay. To two, wear on Tuesday. Tutus. And ties. And ties. So if you're a girl, you can wear a tutu. If you're a boy, you can wear a tie. Wait a minute. This is 2022. Wear both if you want. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You do you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I I'm agree Tuesday. with you entirely, yeah. but there's going to be think one out fun. there. It's fun and different and... We did pigtails for school. You did pigtails. Mm -hmm. There's a couple two kids walking. Ponytails. Mm -hmm. Two ponytails. Two. Two ponytails. Two. T W O Tuesday. Okay. I'm just too heavy. T O O. <laughs> Wait, where's your Joe Biden? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should play that. Now there is um, trivia tonight. Ooh. There's trivia. Fun. Yeah. Have you ever the played? Have you ever played this trivia? I have, have not done this with the Changing Lives this, folks. No, this is their second one. I couldn't make it to the first one. Mm -hmm. um, and they're having it's really cool. So it's to benefit the Changing Lives Coalition, and they have it at the Wellhead. Ooh. Um, it is kid friendly <laughs> though, so I'll take two. <laughs> yeah, go yeah. down to the Wellhead on Tuesday. <laughs> make um, it a double. <laughs> I think it's at six. It's at six? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. Yes. I was just looking at the cheat sheet. So, um, yeah, they're going to have questions. It's Like I said, it's family friendly. So you, you could take your kiddos and um, they might an, be able to answer questions. Kids. Yeah. Yes, okay. questions for kids, questions for adults. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just like you do it on an app. Mm -hmm. Fun. And you answer the questions. We should go. With. I don't know if you have a team or if it's just like an individual trivia, but I think it's gonna it's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm excited that they're doing it again. So you go online to givebutter.com mm -hmm. slash second trivia night CLC. Two N D. That's right. Two N D. And uh yeah. do that. Trivia night for cause. So awesome. that's tonight. So At the wellhead. Folks want to go and do that. That's really cool. And then tomorrow we've mm -hmm. got our fifth mayoral candidate mm -hmm. coming to the chamber for lunch um we've had four four of the five already we've provided lunch um pizza and sodas and it's just it's a casual combo with the candidate mm. do you like that alliteration Loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. um yeah so tomorrow is luis flores okay so so you've you've had the others so far jeff yahtzee john henry 
Alan, Kent, Bratcher, and Terry Hill have all been there. Yes. And uh, tomorrow is Luis. Um, now, I saw something. You know, usually the early voting ends like the Saturday before the election. Mm -hmm. But I saw a date. Does early voting for this actually go through Monday? Oh, I don't know that. I'm, I, uh, you probably saw that on our website. Where did I see And that? I need to go verify that. Because I saw that I saw that somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Early voting is underway until February 28th, well, which is Monday. And I didn't know if they did early voting all the way through Monday, Monday. or if it ends on... Let me call City Hall. Okay. And find out. Okay. I'll do that when we have a break. Excellent. So uh, five people running for mayor. Mm -hmm. As we said, Alan Kent Brancher, Luis Flores, John Henry, Terry Hill, and Jeff Yahtzee. And then here are the city council candidates. Yes, sir. Raul Rodriguez in District 1. Unopposed. Incumbent. And he's unopposed. That's right. District 2, George Mullen. Incumbent. And, uh, incumbent. And Jeremy Kern. George has a great story. When he ran four years ago, he ran as a write-in. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And he handed out pink pins with his name on it. Cool. And uh, he won. Wow. Now he's on the ballot, and I haven't seen any pink pens. Oh. All my George Mullen magic pens are gone. They've all been Shucks. used up over the last four years. So a little disappointed there. Need another pink pen. Was it pink ink, too? No. No. Just, just, a just the pen was pink, pink with his That's name cool. on it. That's cool. I like it. Yeah. District 3. There are three people running in District 3. Yep. Kimberly Medley, Tommy Bales, and Wade Nelson. Mm-hmm. And then there are two people running in District 4, Aubrey Hobson and Richard Dickey Townley. Mm -hmm. I think it's great that his wife's name is Vicky. <laughs> Dickey and Vicky. Cute. Nice. <laughs> if that's not a reason, I don't know. Yeah, what right? right there. Yeah, no, we're really, um, really trying to keep that. Well, we have that on our website, mm -hmm. artijachamber.com, right. um, with information on... I feel like I'm, I'm going to verify that date mm -hmm. um, to make sure that's correct. Um, but it also has a map of what district you're in. Yeah. So you could you can pull that up yourself, f look up your address or zoom in to where you are, and then you'll know what uh, city councilors to vote, you know, which ones are going to be in your district t to vote for. Right. I'm lucky I'm District 1, so I don't have to choose. <laughs> 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 but... Um, yeah, I think uh, then we also have the mayoral candidates on there. Right. And um, I can't read this to see. I have to get close. <laughs> and we have larger maps at the chamber if you mm -hmm. need to come check those we out. We do. Yes, good point bringing that up. We have a whole table at the chamber that has uh -huh. information for city I'm councilors. Blind without these glasses on, by the um, way. Mayoral candidates, mm -hmm. um, and then also we've had a few governor candidates come through, and they've left stuff at the chamber as oh. well. So we have that. Come by, look at everything. Bef you know, if you vet, really vet all of your options before you vote. Make sure you're voting for who you feel is going to best represent our city. Well, and there's a lot of people running, so you have mm -hmm. and, and you have choices. Obviously, if you're in the city limits, <coughs> and uh, you have mayor choice. And then you have city council and the other three. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I have to apologize. I don't know what district I'm in. I think I know, but I don't know, which means then I don't know who my counselors are. <laughs> we can find I out should, for you, Gene. I should, well, I think you can also go online, can't you? Can't you go to the um, Secretary of State's website? Oh, I don't I know that. Probably. I think you can. I bet you can. And uh, so we'll do a little investigating here and try to try to yeah. figure all that out to help folks out. Can we take a break for this other stuff? Absolutely. Yes, sir. I'm going to uh, call City Hall. <laughs> all right. Call we'll City Hall. Call City Hall. Well, we are, we are. I mean, you can, but we are too. So don't call right now because we don't want to tie up all the lines. We'll be right back.